Sony, 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 what are you doing, Sony? Welcome back, guys, to another video of Island Game MG. Let's talk about how the market leader is raising uh, their price for their console. But before we do that, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Let's jump right into this topic. Today, it came out that Sony would be raising uh, the price of their PS5 in selected regions. So places like Australia, Canada, the UK, Europe, all these places, prices are going up as low as $50 and as high as $200. Let's not even talk about Japan. Now, what is interesting about this entire thing is that PlayStation is making the most money in gaming. We know that last year they came out and said that they are finally making a profit on every PS5 that is being sold. So where some companies like Microsoft um, would be losing money, Sony is actually making money on their console. Now, some companies don't mind losing money on their hardware because they'll make back that money by selling software, software services, uh, on what have you. But Sony is doubling up. They are making money on both their hardware and their software. And we know that the PlayStation gift cards are always number one on Amazon. So Sony is making a killing. In addition to that, um, the last financial year, Guess who made the most profits in all the companies? Yes, it was Sony. Sony made the most profits, 20 something billion uh, against Microsoft, 16 billion against Nintendo, 15 billion. So Sony again is making the most profit when it comes to gaming. But why would Sony reason that the the, the 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 reason why they are increasing the price of the ps5 is because of um you know the economy inflation and what have you on the other hand when microsoft is asked to comment if they would be raising pr prices they would have already said very clearly that they are not raising prices although they are not selling as much as sony what about nintendo nintendo too has agreed that they will, they will not be raising any prices for their consoles. We know that PlayStation would have increased the prices of their games. Sony games are among the most expensive in the industry. Now, Sony uh, console is the most expensive in the industry. And um, this really brings back to mind the arrogance that was Sony in the PS3 generation. Do you guys remember this? Going to be somewhat arrogant. The next generation doesn't start until we say it does. And they would price their console to where they felt they needed to have it because they felt that they were untouchable. This is sort of pre-live streaming era, and a bunch of us were huddled around one person's laptop, like a 15-inch laptop screen, streaming Sony's press conference. And then they dropped the price. In North America, the PlayStation 3 will be available at retail for 599 US dollars, 659 dollars Canadian. Wait a minute, did 599? 599. <laughs> Nobody was prepared for that. Back then, consoles didn't launch at those kind of price points. It was like, holy cow, we just got handed this generation. We were high fiving each other, people were crying. There were just all these th ways that Sony had put their own foot in their mouth. Sony said it would be a privilege for people to work extra hours to afford their overly priced console. You have an over-engineered machine that's going to be incredibly expensive to manufacture. And that opened a window for Microsoft to be able to sort of say, hey, like we have a great system that's going to play all the games you want to play. We've got better online for cheaper. Thank you very much and have a great show. Becoming CEO right after the launch of PlayStation 3 was like being made captain of the Titanic right after it hit the iceberg. Wow. 
so are you seeing you guys seeing the arrogance of sony of 2023 are we seeing that same arrogance today now the question is what would sony fans do about it are they going to speak up are they going to cry outrage about this increase we they already got games increased now the consoles are increasing well note what some sony fans are already saying one fan named ap said we don't accept broke boys into the playstation community if you want cheap fast food you can check out xbox welfare pass if you want to play playstation you gotta pay simply gaming is a privilege get checked <laughs> These guys, I think that these guys are putting too much seasoning in their food like Monique. So one of the stallions of the Pony Nation um, is saying, So everything, and I mean everything, has gone up in price due to inflation. But the minute PS5 console do, there's outrage. Most of y'all don't even live in said countries uh, with increase. Y'all just want to have fake outrage. Why ain't y'all holding spaces about rent going? Now, <laughs> now, these guys, I tell you guys, these guys are sick. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? You guys think that this increase um, is justified? Um, even though um, Nintendo or microsoft who aren't making as much money as sony is not even raising their console or their games let me know in the comment sections below <laughs> like and subscribe for more videos let's talk about it later <laughs>